So don't get me wrong here, I love having a computer, but there's a problem. It's three letters, EMF. EMF is the radiation that a computer shares with us as we caress its lovely keys, cruising the internet. In this video, we'll cover the five parts of a computer that are most dangerous, but that doesn't mean that you should trash your computer. No, not by any means. There's a lot you can do to protect yourself so you can enjoy your computer time with peace of mind. Let's get started. As we talk about computer radiation, it's helpful to know what kind of radiation you're dealing with. Now, radiation is a large spectrum and it's divided into categories. And we talk about computers, we're mostly dealing with RF, ELF, and EMI. RF radiation is radio frequency radiation, and it ranges from 100 kilohertz to 300 gigahertz. And that's your radio, cell phone, Wi-Fi, 5G, and 5G is way at that high end of the spectrum. ELF is extremely low frequency radiation, and that's from zero to 3000 hertz, or three kilohertz. And that's basically your alternating current AC electricity, radiation that it gives off. Then you also have to be concerned about EMI, which is electromagnetic interference, and that's also called dirty electricity. It's basically an electrical noise produced by bad wiring, electric conversion, and things like that. I think of it as an invisible, irritating buzz that electricity produces as it travels through wires, but it can be amplified through electronics, appliances, and bad wiring. All these types are recognized by WHO's, the World Health Organization's International Association for Research on Cancer, as possibly carcinogenic to humans. Personally, the word possible is enough for me to start taking some precautions, at least some precautions, when it comes to protecting myself against EMF, and I hope, hopefully you're doing the same thing. Computers produce all these types of EMF radiation from different parts. So we're gonna jump into which areas of the computer create the radiation and how they do it. And we'll count them down from five to one. And stick to the end so you can learn how to get free EMF protective gear delivered to your door. At number five is the CPU, the central processing unit of your computer. This is the heart of the computer itself, not the monitor or any of the other accessories like a mouse. The microchip CPU does not actively send out any type of signal, so the RF EMF radiation in generated is minimal when it comes to the CPU, but its power supply in the hard drive can be a substantial amount of ELF EMF radiation. Power supplies can be a problem for any electronic when it comes to EMF, because ELF and EMF radiation is produced by AC electricity and especially when the AC current is converted to a DC current, which is what happens in most electronics like a computer. Appliances that have a motor typically use the AC current directly, like a refrigerator. This conversion from AC to DC current has a tendency to create ELF EMF during the process and EMI dirty electricity, and it's constant and ongoing over the entire time you have the device powered on. So here's a tip, when using a laptop, Use the battery rather than having it plugged in. The battery operates on DC current, so there's no conversion of electricity and thus less EMF. The hard drive only actively produces ELF EMF radiation when it's busy running, which is most of the time. And traditional spinning mechanical disk drives will produce more EMF than the newer solid state drives, the SSDs. Now SSDs are more expensive, but besides less EMF, they will use less battery power and typically have a longer shelf life. So it's definitely worth having an SSD in your computer. Number four, the monitor. Oh. You always want a bigger monitor, right? <laughs> Just like a TV, your computer's monitor is another source of EMF radiation. This is especially true with older cathode ray monitors. Now, these are the awkwardly large boxy monitors used heavily throughout the 90s. Modern flat screens are much less of a concern, but they still do produce some degree of EMF radiation. So I advise you to keep some distance between you and the screen, no matter what monitor you have. For starters, all monitors have some sort of power supply, just like the CPU, and that can create measurable levels of ELF, radiation and sometimes EMI. And the backlight of your monitor matters too. For example, an LCD monitor that uses fluorescent backlighting generates more EMF radiation than an LCD monitor with LED backlighting. Coming in at number three is your wireless accessories and peripherals. Gotta watch out for those ones. A wireless mouse, headset, keypad, and gaming controller are just so convenient. But on the flip side, they also produce EMF. In order for them to work, the wireless device must send a radio frequency, that's an RF signal, to a receiver on your computer. With some devices, this simply requires you to plug in a USB receiver into your computer, while others use built-in Bluetooth technology that comes with most computers nowadays. 
The problem, of course, is that these signals are from RF, EMF, radiation, and they are all close to our body. With EMF, distance is your friend, so consider using wired accessories and turning off Bluetooth when not in use. Number two, watch out for Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi internet doesn't come from your computer, but when the Wi-Fi is turned on, your computer is both sending and receiving through the wireless signal, which can create high levels of EMF. Wi-Fi typically operates in either 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz frequencies. This is right in the middle of the RF EMF frequency range. So even though it's not technically part of your computer, your Wi-Fi router's strong signal is broadcasting a significant amount of EMF radiation all over your house. So it's much preferred to use wired internet rather than wireless. But there are things you can do to reduce your Wi-Fi exposure to much safer levels. More on that at the end of the video. And your number one hazard for the day, laptops. I've alluded to laptops earlier, but when it comes to computers, laptops are in a category all of their own. You will have the same concerns with a traditional desktop CPU, the power supply, the hard drive, but with a laptop, you also have other factors to consider, like where you put your laptop. The very name laptop makes it sound like it's safe to use right on your lap, but even though it's common to do this, by putting your body and hands directly on the machine, you're exposing yourself to potentially dangerous levels of EMF radiation. If you're on the laptop often, for work or personal use, that exposure really adds up. It's time to take your EMF levels down to much safer levels, and we'll talk more about that in my other video. Check the video description below, or maybe it's here on the screen somewhere. <laughs> If you want some free EMF protective gear delivered to your door, check the video description. Besides free information here at EMF Safe Family, we give away free EMF protective gear to those who receive our email newsletters. Click on the link in the description, and every month you'll have a chance to win as long as you're subscribed. Take care and stay safe. We'll see you in the next EMF Safe Family video.